We'd like to welcome you to the tenth chapter of Esther, the last chapter. It's a short one, uh, and it's basically sums up what has happened, uh, the results, and we in this chapter we mentioned uh, in our headlines on the website where it has the all the chapters of Esther and chapter ten would be featuring the Amphi, the Ana and the pro prepositions it's somewhat misleading because there are no none of these uh, pronouns appear in any of uh, in this chapter and they didn't actually appear in the book of Esther at all. We'll have to come to them later when we run across them. Uh, we'll point them out to you. Uh, basically, the Amphi Alpha Mi Phi Iota uh, is uh, associated with the genitive the dative and the accusative. The genitive, it's about or near. With the dative, it's about or with or concerning. And with the accusative, it's around or about or nearly. Ana is uh, associated only with the accusative, and it means up. And pro is associated with the genitive, and it means before. We get to these, like I mentioned, and I'll uh, point them out, and we'll go over them a little, maybe in the next author, which will be uh, Hosea. And uh, the, this chapter now begins, Egrapse de o vasolef, sepi, tin vasolien, tis te gis, ke tis thalasis. And the king, Egrapsa, vasolef's Egrapsa, wrote... We have a graph. Unto, epi is a preposition. All the prepositions are highlighted that are in this verse, uh, chapter. Uh, wrote unto the Vasolian, the kingdom, by both Giz, we have geology, and the uh, Thalassis, the sea, Thalacticus, has to do with oceans or seas. Ketin Iskinov, too. Ketin Andragathion, Pluton. Te ke doxen tis vasolinas av tu, idu gegrapte in vivlio, person ke midon is minimosinon. And his strength, the king, Artaxerxes, and the um, Andragathian, we have Andra, android, uh, it has to do with a man, and valor here, uh, Andra and the Aga Gathian, valor. Uh, Pluton, riches, we have uh, plutocracy, the rule of the rich, the wealthy, and the planet Pluto, named after the god of richness, Pluto. And also the doxen, we have the doxology and the liturgy for the glory of his Vasilius. Behold, gegrapte, they are written in Viblio, a uh, Bible or scroll in this case, of the Persians and Medes, which is today Iran, for a many most seen known, a memorial we mentioned before, mention M N the mini epsilon. When you see that at the beginning of this, uh, these words, it has something to do with remembrance, rem mentioning memorial in this case. Verse three, Oti Mardo Heos, the Vegeto Ton Vasilea. Artaxerxes, K megas in in te vasilia, K the doxas menos, ipo ton iudeon, K filumenos, the gito, ten agaugin, panti to ethni of tone. For Mordecai relieved uh, King Vasilea Artaxerxes, he was second in command, took over when it needed, and was megas. Um, megaton bomb a great in the Vasilia and being extolled uh, here you see the doxa uh, it's a verb uh, being and uh, it's a preposition and uh, being extolled and glorified doxa the doxology we had that earlier up here in 1391 this is a verb by epo the Jews and Philomenos is another preposition. The philu, uh, we have a 
uh, the Philadelphia, uh, a friend or uh, fond, here is in the verb form, being fond to describe the welfare to all uh, Ponte pandemic, all uh, people, to all uh, their nation, ethne, the nation, uh, ethnic is the derivative. So uh, this scroll is a memorial, uh, the king, Persians, and Medes, somewhere was written down, and Mordecai, uh, became great and was extolled by the Jews and even today in Israel uh, Mordecai and the Feast of Purim are celebrated where Haman is like the uh, boogeyman the <laughs> the evil person and I believe the uh, children give out uh, gifts to each other sort of like a uh, our hollow pagan Halloween and so this ends the uh, wonderful book of Esther where God turned the evils of Haman and the people that hated the Jews into uh, a deliverance that was uh, came through by his cho choice of a young woman to become queen of Persia and then to overcome the wiles of this evil man Haman and we see this country of Persian the Medes today with Iran as we mentioned and the saber sabers are rattling I'm just looking on the internet and uh, Iran is saying it has atomic weapons that can reach Israel so uh, this is in uh, March early March of 09 I'm uh, going through this so you in the future will know what happened. and uh, But I think I know what's going to happen. We'll see. So God bless. I hope you join us with the next author, Hosea. And I believe we may continue with these uh, prepositions to go through them a little bit more because they are important and they sure are keys to understanding a lot of the uh, nouns and uh, in, the, uh, in the apostolic Bible. So uh, we'll see you the next seminar, and God bless.